Good evening, everyone. Jaden Daniels is joining us. Thanks for the time, Jaden. We'll go straight to, the qu to questions from the media using the raise hand function, and I'll call on you. First up, Jesse. Hey, Jaden, uh, tough loss, but it uh, looked like you kind of had some uh, better chemistry with the um, younger receivers. Would you say that's correct? Yeah, I mean, uh, they got the first game jitters out of them. Um, you know, we've been at that time off. Um, we've just been, been practicing, but working on uh, building more chemistry and just building off from there. Yeah. yeah. Jaden, uh, well, how did you guys feel? Looked like there was a lot of rust to work off in the first half, and then you guys got it going in the second half. How how, how different or how difficult was it to come back after a month off? I mean, um, you can see, you know, first half we're rusty, um, offensive wise, uh, defensive wise. You know, just as a team overall, being off a month, it's hard uh, come back and play a team versus a team that's been um, rolling. So it was uh, hard, but we still had the chance to win the game. We just got to finish. Oh. Jaden, in terms of like defensive looks that you saw from UCLA on film in their first four games, did they show you some looks that maybe you did not see uh, when you watched game film preparing for this game? No, I mean, uh, going to we knew what they wanted to accomplish. They came out first couple drives, um, running uh, man across the board because they seen what USC was doing. Then we start um, loosening. They started loosening up, just getting back to the regular defense. But we seen what we, we what I watched on film is what they did. Trevor. Jaden, kind of building off an earlier question, uh, UCLA was one of the best teams coming in at generating sacks and tackles for loss. How did their pressure getting to you guys a couple times affect what you were able to do offensively tonight? Uh, uh, they're heating us up a little bit. Um, getting to me, um, I sometimes I got to stop on the ball, uh, miscommunication on the whole line, just get the ball, know where my hot throws are, but it was a bit off from that. Jacob. This is, you know, you guys have played two games and now in both of them, Diamante Trainum has been very successful. How, how is it playing with him and just kind of, if you could evaluate his performance for his second career game, what was it like again? Yeah, um, Chip is getting better and better each, each and every day, each and every week. Um, every game he continues to build. Uh, that kid is special. Oh. Jaden, just in general about the running game, what do you think changed for you guys that you're able to run the ball so much better in the second half compared to the first half? Yeah, I mean, um, I, UCLA started getting tired. Um, you know, as the, as the uh, game went on, you know, first half they're uh, playing our defense out. Um, but I say what really killed us was just the, the costly turnovers, um, the fumble snap at the, the one yard line, the pick. You know, just can't turn over the ball. But the running just, game it keeps going. And just to follow up on that, I mean, after being off for four weeks, did you guys feel tired? Did you guys feel refreshed uh, as the game went on? I feel like um, I feel like the team felt um, refreshed. You know, I didn't see really anybody too tired. Uh, it's hard coming coming back off of uh, sitting a month and playing a game, but that's no excuse. Last question, Jacob. Jane, what would you say your biggest takeaway is from a game like this, just in terms of coming back after three weeks off of not playing and everything that went into this game? What What do you take away from this one? Yeah, I mean, um, you got can't take stuff for granted. Really, um, you never know when the football season might, the football game, football season might be canceled. And we can't turn over the ball. I can't turn over the ball. Um, we just got to play better. Thank you, Jaden. Tyler Johnson coming up next. Hi, Tyler. I know obviously it's no consolation after a loss, but uh, this is probably your best game as a Sun Devil. Uh, just talk about uh, what did you see out there tonight uh, that made your night a successful one, at least from a personal standpoint? I think the one thing that focused on, you know, for the past was two weeks, basically, since you know, games keep getting canceled, was that the quarterback was a runner. So very, I was very aware of that and I was mindful and, you know, just making sure we weren't giving him the perimeter because he is fast, you know trying to run down the line, you know, D-lineman against a quarterback, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of tough to keep up. But being able to communicate with the D-line, coming back to the sideline, talking with Coach Rod, telling him what we're seeing, telling him what we're doing, what we're trying to do, what we can do, I think it just uh, it all worked together and we just, it just panned out for us as far as, the, as far as getting to him. Trevor? 
Tyler, outside of UCLA's last drive, they only had three first downs in the second half. You guys were really to keep them under control. Um, what changed from the first half to the second? As uh, game planning, you know, uh, switching up, you know, what we were doing. Um, that's what basically, you know, that's what halftime is for. You know, we come in, we discuss things, uh, go over our mistakes, what we should have done, what we can do. And, you know, Coach, uh, Coach Lewis came in and he gave us uh, something else that we can try to put together. And it just started working for us. Jack. Can you talk, uh, I guess it's me, can you talk about um, kind of the last drive and um, what they were able to do that they hadn't been able to do the, the rest of the second half? Did you guys, do you think you were as aggressive there on that last drive? As aggressive, uh, we were, I believe, yeah, we were. It was just, we were just trying to contain, you know, the quarterback and, um, just letting our DBs work with what they had and, you know, coverage. And while we were still, you know, trying to maintain a good rush and close the pocket in on them, uh, just unfortunately, you know, they, they were getting away with some things and uh, time got away from us. So, yeah, uh, it just stuff just kept happening, you know, small little penalties that were really big. So, it's, honestly, that's really what it boils down to, honestly. Jacob? Tyler, about a month and a half ago, you told us that you were entering this season with a better mindset than you have maybe in your entire career. And when you have a night like you did tonight, what does it mean to you in terms of the ability to kind of come through everything that you've been through and then put together just a, a great performance overall? Um, you know, I'm trying to get, you know, places in life. So it's, it starts with my mentality. And, you know, when I took that little break at the beginning of the year, I was able to to hone in on my, you know, my emotions and what I was trying to get out of life and stuff like that. So I came back, you know, I had a great group of guys with me, um, guys that have been here since I was a freshman, you know, guys like Chase and my class. And uh, they've, they've always been in my corner and they've, uh, they've been with me every step of the way, you know, motivating me. Even in practice, you know, we, we hold each other accountable. Uh, we make each other better. So, you know, I can't let them down. So that's uh, it's been a big drive is just not trying to let my teammates down. Oh. Tyler, coming into this game, a lot of people are wondering if ASU is going to really have a lot of rust to knock off or actually it's going to be fresh team because you haven't played in, in uh, so many weeks. As the game went on, did you feel that that you're going to be fresher than UCLA maybe in some points of the game? And maybe that's why you had some success stopping them, especially in the second half? Uh, yeah, you know, it's, you know, coming off of, you know, tomorrow will be, what, a month since we played a game? And to be able to perform like that shows a lot about uh, about who we are. You know, we practice and we practice and, you know, there is some more rest we got to knock off, but uh, that's, you know, that's no excuse. You know, we, we've been practicing, so we should have been able to perform as well or even better. So, I mean, it is what it is at this point. With where you guys are at as a defensive line overall and just kind of the performance you guys were able to put together tonight, what do you think that says about Coach Rod's ability to coach you guys and just how he's changed the way that you guys think? What has it done for all of you? It's, I mean, as you can see, it's done great things. You know, we're getting in the backfield quicker. We're keeping our balance. We're, you know, hitting the hitting the ball carrier behind the line of scrimmage. So, Coach Rod, obviously, you know, he knows what he's doing. You know, he's fresh out the he's fresh out of the league. So, putting, you know, what he's done with NFL guys and instilling that into us, it's uh, it's been a it's been a great blessing. Any more questions for Tyler? All right, thank you, Tyler. Thank you, guys.